Hello and welcome to Starbucks U on Facebook Live. I'm Nick, a real Starbucks barista. And every Saturday this month, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can take your weekend coffee at home to the next level using Starbucks coffee beans and other ingredients that you can find at your local grocery store. You can ask any questions throughout and we'll answer them in the comment section just down below in real time, okay guys? We'll be posting a summary video just in case you miss anything in depth at mystarbuckweekend.com. Don't worry about keeping up, super simple recipe today, guys. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a drink called a shakerado. Otto, like macchiato, and shake, because we're going to shake things up a little bit with a cocktail shaker today. We're gonna to be using a cocktail shaker and a whole bunch of other things we can go over right now. But we'll start with the coffee. So today we'll be using the Pike Place. It's a very famous blend, and we'll go into depth about it later, but it's a fantastic flavor. I have a couple other things to the side. I've got my condensed milk as well as my half and half cream to make our sweet cream topping for later. I also have our simple syrup, which will go in the actual shakerado and the shaker to shake things up. A couple of the utensils today is a whisk for the sweet cream, a scoop for the grounds, spatula for the condensed milk, it's a little thick, half a teaspoon for our simple syrup, two shot glasses for espresso, a saucepan for that sweet cream and the stove to cook it together, as well as our great drip brew today for our pike place. Okay guys, we're gonna jump right into this recipe. We're gonna start by making the sweet cream. For that, we're gonna need our half and half cream as well as our condensed milk. I'm gonna put it back here. And we're also gonna need our whisk as well as our spatula. I'm just gonna put this right over here for now though. Okay, now, in our saucepan, we are gonna put it onto a low heat and add our whole milk. Now we are going to add our condensed milk. So we need the spatula, it's just a little bit thick. And try and get out as much as possible. It's key to the recipe. You want that nice consistency and flavor. You put that off to the side. And now over this low heat, we're just gonna give it a nice whisk and we're gonna try and fully incorporate the condensed milk with the half and half cream. Now this process takes roughly about five to 10 minutes, but just to make it a little bit faster, we have some on the side. Have it here in the fridge for you guys. So this is our sweet cream. This is the finished product. Pretty tasty and pretty delightful. Next, we're gonna make the coffee. Now, while we make the coffee, I'm gonna go over the four fundamentals of brewing as well as the actual coffee itself, our Pike Place Roast. So, to start, coffee has four fundamentals. One being the water. We wanna make sure we have clean, filtered water. Luckily, I have a filtered water tap here. If you don't, you can boil your water or depending on a, uh, what chemicals inside, you can let it sit overnight. Uh, for example, chlorine. <laughs> Now we're going to add the water on top here. And this part of the process will heat up the water. We want the water at roughly 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit for that's the optimal brewing temperature for optimal extraction of hot coffee. Let's get rid of the rest of the water here. Now the next important thing is the grind. You want a semi-coarse grind, not too coarse though. And the reason for that being is that it relies mostly on gravity and there is little surface interaction. So the ratio goes similar to a coffee press. It's two tablespoons per every six ounces of hot water. So I've already added about 18 ounces of water. So I'm gonna add three scoops because each of these scoops is worth two tablespoons. And once that's done, we're gonna close it up and just hit brew and let that sit. Now. The Pike Place Roast is actually really interesting. It's a, a little bit of a popular roast at home. So about eight years, or 10 years ago, in 2008 is what I was trying to say, is this Pike Place Roast was perfected by customer input. It has awesome notes of nutty, a little bit of cocoa, with a very slight touch of maple as well. And like I said, this was all done by the input of customers. And now it's enjoyed by customers all around the world, every morning. The coffee itself is called Pike Place, and it's actually named after the original market where Starbucks actually started in Seattle. Just some fun little facts. Put this off to the side now. Now we're not gonna wait for the coffee to brew. I actually have some prepared and chilled already for our shakerado. And we're just gonna weigh out the coffee. We need roughly four ounces. Great thing about shot glasses is that everyone has them at their home and they all hold about two ounces of liquid. 
So to make it easy, I'm just going to pour out two of these. Pull this back to the side. I'm going to need the spoon soon. And now all we're missing is our ice. So I'm going to grab that from the fridge. Okay, now that we have all our components, we're going to grab our shaker, bust it open, and we have our half tablespoon of simple syrup. Now the simple syrup I made prior, it's uh, equal parts water and sugar, boiled, and let this sit. But of course, most grocery stores have their own that you could probably buy. Okay, we're going to add that to the shaker. Follow it up with a little bit of ice. Now when I say a little bit, I mean fill the shaker. <laughs> And with that, we're going to pour the espresso just over top, or sorry, coffee, in espresso shot glasses. And we're simply going to put the lid on it and give it a nice shake the Starbucks way. Ten times, over the shoulder, with a smile. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Once that's done, we can pop it open, and we'll see a nice foam on top. I'm just going to grab my glass. Here we're going to give it a nice slow pour. You can see all that nice coffee foam that was created from the ice in the coffee. Visually appealing, tastes fantastic, quite refreshing on a hot summer day. Now we're going to top us off with our sweet cream, which gives it that little bit of sweet that everyone needs with their morning coffee. And congratulations guys, you have made your first Shakerado, a fantastic and refreshing beverage that'll only get easier with practice, okay? Don't worry about any kind of mistakes. And remember, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below in the comments section. And if you missed anything, you can catch it on mystarbucksweekend.com. But please, customize, explore, try new flavors, try new syrups, make a new beverage for yourself. Now this coffee here is quite important, guys. If you really want to raise your coffee game right now, you can enter a chance to win a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Starbucks' own Hacienda El Celsia Coffee Farms in Costa Rica. You'll learn how the coffee goes from the farm to the cup and sample some of the best, freshest coffees in the world. Visit mystarbucksweekend.com for more details. I need a sip of this, guys. That's a perfect cold morning beverage. And this has been Starbucks U. Catch us next Saturday where we'll be showing you how to make another delicious beverage with Starbucks coffee from your local grocery store.